Hello everyone, TechnoSleuth Craig Chamberlain here, and today we're going to move forward with the Faster Computer Series. We are on episode 13, and today I'm going to show you how to change your paging file in your Windows operating system, and I'm going to make sure it's a permanent paging file. And basically what this means is that it's, Windows isn't going to try to adjust the amount of memory in the paging file that it uses. It's really geeky, so don't worry about it. Just right-click on my computer and click Properties. You want to select Advanced. Then under Performance, you want to click Settings. Then you want to select Advanced again. Scroll down to Virtual Memory and click Change. And it'll bring up your virtual memory options and see the paging file size is a range. Mine says 1216 to 1216 and that's what you want. You want to make sure that it's under custom size and that the initial size and the maximum size are identical. Don't worry about the amount that they are yet. I'm going to go over that in the next video. And then when you're done with that, go ahead and click OK. Then select OK again. Select OK. And that's all there is to it. That's how you make sure your paging file is static and that it's not going to automatically adjust itself which uses additional resources for Windows to ensure that it falls within that range instead of in one statics paging file. As always, leave comments and ratings. I hope this helps some of you guys out. And make sure you subscribe. I'm going to try to post a video on here every day. Thanks a lot.